One of the therapies I was really initially skeptical about is hypochlorous acid or stabilized HOCl. Stabilized HOCl has been the panacea of wound infection treatment for a long time. Hypochlorous is a stabilized molecule that will actually oxygenate tissues. It also reduces inflammation and it also is an anti-infective. It's an antibacterial, it's an antiviral, and it's an antifungal. In case you didn't know, there's a lot of bacteria, viruses, and fungus that live on our scalps, and you can't totally sterilize a hair transplant procedure. So this is really important, particularly in a hair transplant scenario. We use normal saline in surgery before Surgiheal Pro, and with the Surgiheal Pro, we find that it actually stops the bleeding temporarily more than the saline, which helps give us a clear view of the field. The medical assistants love it as well because when they're placing grafts, the area can be cleared from the bleeding a little bit longer with the Surgical Pro as compared to the saline. And when you're closing in terms of FUT procedures, you know that you have a little extra protection with the Surgical Pro. The post-operative course is really important for how patients eventually will grow their hair. And so caring for your hair postoperatively is really important. There's a couple of things that you should know. Number one, moist wounds heal the best. And if you're gonna moisturize your wounds with something, you can use plain water. Saline's a little bit better, but even better than that is something that's an anti-infective. So there's a bunch of different regimens out there. For a long time, we used copper peptide solutions, and those helped a little bit, but maybe weren't anti-infective. Now there's something way better. It actually is an old solution, and it's hypochlorous acid. For the Surgery Heal Pro that we give to the patients after the surgery, a lot of the times they will call back to ask for more because they love the way that it made their scalp feel. The itching can be frustrating for patients after surgery with the healing, and so it really decreases the itching. The scabbing is much better, which is better for healing of the grass and getting them to grow. And the back heals very nice as well, whether it's FUE or FUT. My staff was hooked from day one because it helps to clean the area. You can really tell that it's oxygenating the tissue and you can see a lot of the changes while we're doing the surgery itself. So my staff was really on board. And I think a lot of the other hair transplant surgeons will be bringing this onto their practices very soon too.